A toxic upbringing, explosive tell-all books, and a family dynamic that will never be the same. The Duggars have changed a lot since they left TV. Here's where they are now. Jim Bob's mother, Mary Duggar, often appeared alongside her family members on their reality shows. In a 2017 episode of Counting On, she supervised a few of her grandsons as they moved her log home closer to the Duggars' house. Grandma Duggar said that she was looking forward to living within walking distance of the rest of the family. She also shared a close bond with her daughter, Deanna Duggar, who was the first family member to learn of Mary's tragic death in June 2019. The Washington County, Arkansas coroner told People, Mary slipped and fell into the pool and drowned. Her daughter, Deanna, discovered her body and alerted authorities, who pronounced her dead at the scene. After the sad news broke, many of the Duggar siblings took to social media to pay tribute to their beloved grandmother. Jana Duggar wrote in part on Instagram, On her last morning spent here on earth, I drove grandma to church where she worshipped her savior. Later that afternoon, she went to meet him face to face. I'd say that's probably how she would have chosen to finish out the day if she got to pick. The Duggars also filmed a Counting On episode titled Grandma Duggar Remembered, which included footage of Mary's funeral and the family's preparations for it. The Duggars avoid the hassle of booking commercial flights for over a dozen people by having a few pilots in the family who can fly their large clan to religious conferences and speaking events around the country. John David Duggar, Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar's second oldest son, is one of the members of the family who has obtained a pilot's license, but his love of taking to the sky almost ended in tragedy in October 2021. The Humphreys County Sheriff's Department in Waverly, Tennessee told The Sun that John called 911 after crash landing a Piper PA-30 plane with some family members on board. A spokesperson for the department said the plane ran out of fuel, forcing John to make an emergency landing in a field. However, people spoke to another rep who stated that John, who is also a certified flight instructor, blamed the scary incident on double engine failure, not a failure to make sure that he had an adequate amount of fuel prior to takeoff. John later revealed that his wife Abby Duggar and their little girl Grace were passengers at the time of the crash. John and Abby said in a statement to Celeb Buzz, An emergency landing or any kind of plane crash is a scary thing, but it's exactly what pilots are trained for. We are so thankful for God's protection as we all walked away without injuries when this happened. Jana has certainly earned the nickname some fans have given her, Cinderella Duggar, after spending so many years of her life living at home and helping her parents care for her younger siblings. Jana's exhausting babysitting duties got her slapped with a misdemeanor child endangerment charge in 2021. An insider told Without a Crystal Ball that one of the children Jana was watching at the time was Josh and Anna Duggar's daughter, Mariella, who was two months away from her second birthday. A witness reportedly found the toddler wandering around alone somewhere outside the Duggar's home and contacted authorities. Jana addressed the charge in a post on her Instagram story, writing, It was a case of a child slipping out of the house when you turn your back for a moment. She further revealed that a child welfare investigator who followed up on the incident determined that no harm had come to the child involved. Jana did not confirm or deny that the child was Mariella, but she did deny rumors that she'd been arrested over the incident. Instead, she was given a citation and later paid an $880 fine per pupil. Jessa revealed that she had suffered a miscarriage in February 2023, and she received an outpouring of sympathy from her YouTube subscribers. But some critics took note of her revelation that she had a dilation and curatage, or DNC, to remove fetal tissue from her womb, the same procedure that is performed in some abortions. Jessa, after all, is so anti-choice that she compared abortion to the Holocaust in a 2014 Instagram post. OBGYN Alan Linderman, MD, explained to The List that Jessa's DNC was not an elective abortion, but a therapeutic one, due to her fetus having no heartbeat when it was performed. However, some doctors have seemingly become reticent to perform DNCs at all, fearing that they may run afoul of the abortion bans that have been instituted in many U.S. states. In responding to criticism, Jessa ignored the discourse about how anti-choice views are causing those in her same situation to be denied necessary miscarriage care. The producers of Shiny Happy People, Duggar Family Secrets, scored big when they got Jill Duggar to open up about the Institute in Basic Life Principles, or IBLP, and her family. After In Touch broke its 2015 story about Josh Duggar sexually molesting his younger sisters as a teenager, Gawker published an expose about the IBLP teachings that might foster a home environment where sexual abuse is allowed to go unchecked. Jill was one of Josh's molestation victims, and in 2015, she, her parents, and another victim, Jessa, 
downplayed the seriousness of Josh's actions during a sit-down with Fox News host Megyn Kelly. Jill later said that she wasn't proud of her participation in that interview. In hindsight, I wouldn't have done the Megyn Kelly stuff. Her husband, Derek, also appeared in Shiny Happy People and blasted Jill's parents for making her feel as though she had to do the interview to help the family save their imperiled reality TV career. It didn't prevent 19 Kids and Counting from getting cancelled, but the Duggars soon returned to TLC in a Josh Free show bearing a shiny new title, Counting On. After filming a few seasons of Counting On, Jill and Derek decided to quit. In Shiny Happy People, Jill explained that one huge issue was that she and Derek had received no form of payment for their work, even though they'd filmed footage of the birth of their first child themselves. According to Jill, Jim Bob Duggar was the only family member getting paid and wasn't willing to compensate the couple for their past work unless they agreed to keep filming. To coincide with the premiere of Shiny Happy People, Duggar Family Secrets, Jill made an announcement about something many Duggar detractors have wanted for a long time. She was going to release a tell-all book in early 2024. In an Instagram post, Jill revealed its title, Counting the Cost, and shared a description that made it evident that she and her husband didn't hold back while airing their grievances within its pages. She wrote in part, the challenges we have faced, including lack of respect for boundaries, greed, manipulation, and betrayal, are not that much different than what many people in our audience have faced. However, 15-plus years of reality television is tantamount to pouring gasoline on the fire of our struggle. Ginger Duggar has also published a memoir about her childhood, her experiences with the IBLP, and its founder Bill Gothard's teachings, and her decision to stop following the patriarchal religious organization's teachings. While promoting the 2023 book Becoming Free Indeed, Ginger told People that much of what she'd been taught made her fearful, anxious, and uncertain, saying, Gothard's teachings were so harmful, and I'm seeing more of the effects of that in the lives of my friends and people who grew up in that community with me. There are a lot of cult-like tendencies. Those teachings were based in fear, manipulation, control, and superstition. In addition to chronicling the difficult process of discarding the beliefs that her parents pushed on her for so many years, Ginger also shared her struggle with an eating disorder, revealing how her mother, Michelle Duggar, helped her overcome it. While interacting with his Instagram followers in 2019, Derek Dillard alleged that Jill isn't allowed to visit anyone at her parents' house unless Jim Bob is present. And in 2021, Jill told her YouTube subscribers that such a visit hasn't taken place in years. However, Michelle and Jill spent some time together during an April 2023 outing that included all female members of the family, per a post on Ginger's Instagram account. Anna Duggar also apparently still spends time with her in-laws. She appeared in the background of a family friend's Instagram photo that May. A family insider told Fox News ahead of Josh Duggar's 2021 trial, "'Divorce is never going to be a first option for Anna. It's going to be a last, last resort. She and Josh's family are going to stick by him no matter what.'" However, Ginger explained that her family members' varying views on the IBLP have somewhat divided the once tight-knit group. She told E! News in February 2023, I know that a lot of them are still in the system, a lot have kind of walked away from it. While filming Shiny Happy People, Jill said of the state of the Duggars, everything within the family dynamic has shifted and not for the better. If you or anyone you know has been a victim of sexual assault, help is available. Visit the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network website or contact Rain's National Helpline at 1-800-656-HOPE-4673. Six months after Josh's 2021 arrest, Jim Bob announced his candidacy for the Arkansas State Senate. He wrote in part on Facebook, Now more than ever, we need a bold voice that is pro-family, pro-business, pro-gun, and pro-life. He finished third in the Republican primary. His son Jed had made his own bid for political office the year prior. Jed labeled his Democratic opponent, Megan Godfrey, a liberal princess in a mailer that he sent out during the 2020 race to represent District 89 in the Arkansas House of Representatives. Duggar has declined our repeated request for interviews about the issues in District 89. In response to the attack ad, Godfrey tweeted, People can try to diminish and erase girls by calling us names. We'll keep responding with dignity, bravery, and kindness. Jim Bob was previously a member of the Arkansas House of Representatives from 1999 to 2002, and he launched a failed U.S. Senate campaign in 2002. In his campaign platform, he argued that rape and incest should be punishable by death. Meanwhile, Josh once had a political career as the executive director of FRC Action, the lobbying branch of the Family Research Council. In that capacity, Josh spoke out against the legalization of same-sex marriage nationwide. He's since resigned from FRC. 
Even after Josh Duggar's molestation and cheating scandals tarnished his family's reputation in 2015, there was no shortage of young women willing to hitch their wagons to the Duggar train. Those whose weddings were filmed for Counting On included Kendra Caldwell, who married Joseph Duggar in 2017. The following year, Lauren Swanson tied the knot with Josiah Duggar, and Abby Burnett said I do to John David Duggar. Because TLC shared Justin Duggar and Claire Spivey's courtship announcement on its website in September 2020, it seemed that the network planned on eventually filming their nuptials. At the time, Justin was just 17 years old. The couple wed in February 2021, and TLC canceled Counting On four months later in response to Josh's arrest. So, if the network filmed any footage of the couple's wedding, it never aired. Twins Jed and Jeremiah Duggar have also tied the knot. This has left Jason, James, and Jackson as the only unmarried adult Duggar sons as of June 2023. In April 2021, Anna Duggar shared a video on Twitter that showed her husband Josh Duggar and their children celebrating some happy news. Pink confetti showered a smiling Josh and Anna after they raised an umbrella over their heads, their way of revealing that they were expecting a daughter. Days later, USA Today reported that Josh had been arrested. When Josh and Anna welcomed their baby girl that November, fans were stunned by their name choice, Madison. This is because Josh had been forced to confess to cheating on Anna in 2015 after hackers outed him as a member of Ashley Madison, a website that advertised itself as a discreet way to arrange extramarital affairs. A month after Madison's arrival, Josh was found guilty of possession and receipt of child sexual abuse material, and he was later given a 12-year prison sentence. Some of Josh's siblings released statements condemning their brother's crimes. Ginger Duggar wrote in part on Instagram, We are thankful to God for exposing Josh's actions and to a legal system committed to protecting the innocent and punishing the guilty in this case. We are grateful for justice. As of June 2023, Josh has the most children out of all of his siblings with a brood of seven. But with Josh looking at over 12 years in prison, his siblings have plenty of time to overtake him. When it comes to Jim Bob and Michelle's grandkids, it seems that the counting will never stop. In 2022, Joyanna told her family that she was expecting her third child, a son she and Austin Forsyth later named Gunner. You're gonna be a grandpa again. Number I don't know how many. Jessa welcomed her fourth child in 2021. Jill's third son was born in 2022, and Joseph became the father of three when he celebrated the arrival of a daughter in 2021. John David and Jedediah both welcomed their second children in 2022 and 2023, respectively. Other members of the Duggar brood have also welcomed their first children over the last few years. In an interview with Ali Beth Stuckey, Ginger Duggar revealed that she and her sisters weren't allowed to live away from home until they got married. So attending a brick-and-mortar college was out of the question. Even getting a job that required leaving Jim Bob Duggar's domain was verboten. Jana Duggar apparently adhered to these rules for years. In a 2019 Instagram post, she answered a fan's question about her living situation by writing, I've had the choice to move to another room, but love being in the girls' room with my sisters. She was almost 30 years old at the time. In an episode of Counting On that aired that same year, Jana revealed that she's been in courtships that have failed. She also said that there are advantages to remaining unwed, like being able to travel more. Those who closely follow the Duggars' lives have various theories about why Jana has remained single. One Redditor posited that parents Jim Bob and Michelle discouraged her from getting married for years because they needed her help at home. Whether or not that's true, her marriage prospects appeared to dwindle during that time. On an episode of 19 Kids and Counting, Ginger had expressed an interest in living in a bustling metropolis like New York City. Ginger never moved to NYC, but she and her husband, Jeremy, eventually settled down in the Golden State. I love living in Los Angeles. It's been amazing. Jeremy, a former professional soccer player, moved to Cali to attend seminary school and later landed a job leading a Bible study class for college students at Grace Community Church. The couple also tried their hand at being podcasters for a short while, and Ginger booked some public speaking events. One such event includes the 2024 Answers in Genesis conference, Reclaim Answers for Women, Overcoming the War on Women for the Glory of God, which appears to be centered around anti-trans rhetoric. The website says, we need to raise the next generation to hold fast to the foundational truths of gender that begin in Genesis. Though it's unclear where Ginger herself stands on LGBTQ plus rights, it seems some of her parents' teachings maybe did stick. In 2013, Michelle explained on her Parentables blog that her family's infamous ban on pants and immodest clothing is biblically inspired. 
but after a few Duggar daughters got married and moved out from under Jim Bob's umbrella of authority, the sinful allure of skinny jeans and sweatpants simply became too strong. For Ginger, trading jean skirts for actual jeans felt so monumental that she warned her parents that the wardrobe change was incoming. She told People, when I first started wearing pants, I had conversations with them. In a YouTube video, Joy Anna discussed her own decision to give pants a chance, telling her viewers that it was something she and her husband spent a lot of time praying about. After a few years of Bible study, she too was ready for an inseam. I feel like you can be modest and wear pants. Jill told her YouTube subscribers that she similarly spoke to her husband Derek when she decided to start rocking pants and get her nose pierced. In 2020, Jill further shocked her Instagram followers by revealing that she'd enjoyed a pina colada of the non-virgin variety. Oh, and Ginger also revealed that she no longer views dating and birth control as being worldly evils. The Duggars' biggest life moments used to be captured by TLC's cameras, but nowadays sisters Jessa and Joanna are using YouTube to monetize special memories, including their children's births. Oh, and let's not forget those famous gender reveal parties. During one such event, Joanna and her husband Austin Forsyth proved that pregnancies are still very much prized within their clan by using a helicopter to shower their family members with pink confetti. Jessa has racked up over half a million views by giving her YouTube viewers a tour of her new house, and Joanna occasionally interacts with her fans via Q&A videos. In one of them, posted in March 2023, she discussed her feelings about counting on ending. I do not miss the TV show. I, um, I think it was best for our family for it to end.